Hey everyone, this is Johnny. Welcome back to my channel. What you have in front of you is my Glock 27. The Glock 27 comes in 40 caliber. I had a Glock 26 that comes in 9. Was looking to purchase a Glock 23 or a Glock 22. Didn't quite have the money at that time, so I willed and deal, got rid of the Glock 26. I purchased the Glock 27 and then decided to go the conversion barrel. Now I've heard a a lot of different stories from different individuals on how the conversion barrels have worked for them. Some people say they don't work, other people say they do. For me, it worked. I purchased uh, the barrel from Lone Wolf Distributors, and I'm going to put this model number in front of you here for a moment. That's the model number. That's at LoneWolfDistributors.com. And so I purchased this barrel. The barrel was $139.99 plus the shipping. And I put approximately 50 rounds down range, no failure to feeds, no failure to ejects. It was dead on target, and it was a very, very enjoyable uh, experience going from the 40 to the 9. Everyone knows that the 9 is much has a much softer recoil, completely different recoil than the 40 caliber. And so what I want to show you today is basically uh, the process of changing over your barrels, how easy it is. With this uh, threaded barrel, I also picked up a thread protector. I picked up a uh, pierce grip extension that adds plus two for the nine millimeter. And if you're adding the pierce grip extension to a Glock uh, 27 mag, it will add plus one on the 40 caliber. And then I also uh, purchased the A&G grip extension, which allows you to take a Glock 19 mag or a Glock 23 mag and slip this on. And then that will uh, fill in the gap that's left on the extension of the magazine when you put it into the Glock 26 or the Glock 27. So I want to take a couple of minutes here and I want to show you the process. This is very simple. We're going to start out. You're going to see that we have, we're starting out here with a safe weapon. There's nothing in the chamber. And so what you see attached to this weapon was the Mako charging handle on my Glock 26 review that I had done. And it wasn't really a review on the Glock as much as it was on this Mako charging handle. I have severe tendonitis, and when you're shooting two, three hundred rounds at the range, this really helps a lot. I know that, uh, you know, you just grab the slide and just pull it back and uh, slingshot it forward, and it does it. But this is a, a simple way for me to be able to charge the handle. And then the nice thing about this is that you can just go ahead and remove this and put it in a safe place and there is no obstruction at all that doesn't get in the way of anything so what I want to do is number one we're clear and I'm going to show you the process here I'm going to point in a safe direction just go ahead and do that and then what we're going to do is we're going to take this slide apart taking a Glock apart is easy you can Check some of the other videos out. There's a ton of them on YouTube that show you the process. And we're going to take this Glock barrel, the factory barrel, out. Then we're going to take here the Lone Wolf distributor barrel. And when you put this in, got to put it in straight or else it kind of gets stuck. It's just a little bit longer. This barrel is just a, a hair over four inches long, uh, about 103 millimeters. And uh, so uh, the extra length on it can make it a little bit difficult if you don't put the barrel in there straight. And so that we're going to take our recoil spring here, put that in place. Then, of course, I'll come back here. You guys know how difficult it is on camera to put this slide in here, but we're going to do our best. Okay. There we go. That's what it looks like without the thread protector. Take the thread protector and put this on here. Let me show you how neat this looks. So I'm going to show you the potential here for this because this is this is a nice setup. Here you have a Glock 26 magazine and it comes uh, already uh, 10 rounds plus one in the chamber. That's 11. 
you add the pure script extension it's plus two so now you have 12 plus one in the chamber that's 13 rounds of nine millimeter when you put it all together this is what the package looks like and I mean that looks sharp it looks I mean <laughs> It, that looks tactical to me. I, I thought about getting the stainless steel barrel, but I decided to go with the black oxide because it gives it more of that tactical type look and feel. And then with the thread on there, the thread and the thread protector, it just looks awesome. Then I want to show you also what you have here is that when you get a Glock 19 magazine and then you go ahead and you purchase the AMG grip grip extension which is this piece right here and you see that that slides right over okay and you have here uh, a magazine that holds 15 plus one we're gonna remove this magazine safety check this weapon we're good there shoot in the safe direction here and I'm gonna insert this Glock 19 magazine with the A and G and there we go and so what I do is I carry the Glock 26 magazine with the Pierce extension plus two no problems printing or anything on concealed carry the threaded barrel doesn't bother this doesn't bother in anything and uh, then I carry the extra 19 Glock 19 magazine with 15 plus one so you do the math plus it looks great so in the process, I spent approximately $220 in everything and probably give or take another $20 for shipping and, and small taxes and things of that nature in order to get two weapons out of one. Now I've bought, I've bought some cheap Glocks in the past. I've gotten some great deals, but I've never bought a Glock or purchased a Glock for $220. And so what you get with this setup is two weapons in one. My friend uh, Leo from Zaldivar Big Boy, he's got his, he has one of his Glocks that he did a conversion also. And uh, you can look him up. He's in some of my favorite videos. And um, he showed this to me. And so I went ahead and went along with the process. And I've, I've, I enjoyed shooting, number one, because I'm saving money on ammo. And number two, because I got two weapons, basically, for the price of, of half of a brand new Glock. I hope you liked this video. I hope that it uh, taught you something. Please take the time to subscribe. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks.